Hello, Darth Vegan here, back with another new game called Bounty Train. All aboard! And uh, we are going to do probably a very short, uh, well, maybe not a short series, maybe a, I don't know how many episodes I'm going to make of it, because I don't know how long I'm going to play it, but it looks really fun. Uh, I haven't actually played it at all, but I've watched several other YouTubers play it. It just looks like a blast, but I'm, I'm going to try something a little different this time. I'm going to do a series of very short videos, and so... You should see, this first episode will probably be a little bit longer, but the rest of the episodes will probably be less than 10 minutes. But uh, we're going to go ahead and just take a look at uh, what we got here. Just blah, 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 all good. Units of system, we're going to go American because I'm American. Uh, and I don't know that old metric system. I, I wish we did use a metric system, quite frankly, it is a lot easier. But let's listen to this beautiful music. Okay, let's play a new game. We're going to do a campaign, and we'll... Uh, Help the main character fight the intrigues of his competitors in the railroad business. That's it. We'll start on normal difficulty. Sure, why not? And the premise of the game is that you uh, own shares in a railroad and you make money and get more railroads and bigger trains and I don't know. It just looks like a lot of fun. I used to play a game in back way back when called Ocean Trader and it reminded me a lot of that where you uh, upgrade your ships and and you uh, you basically get uh, get a lot get a little business sh shipping things and uh, it's kind of the same thing here except it's on trains so let's, let's just get started I'm gonna talk to Jeremiah Sullivan Black wow that music is loud okay um, good afternoon Walter my name is Jeremiah Sullivan Black I used to take care of your father's legal concerns I'm the one who addressed you at regarding his unfortunate demise all right you mentioned the National Pacific Railroad Company tell me what this actually means your father was a stockholder of the National Pacific Railroad Company the same company that's building the first transcontinental railroad intended to connect the east and west coast of the United States. That's a major governmental project, correct? Yes, and according to your father's vision, the railroad should be short and relatively inexpensive to construct. However, his associate, Mr. Cornelius Tilbergnar, plans to construct a lengthier route to bloat expenses and secure greater financing from the government. Well, that seems logical from a business standpoint. The company would receive substantial profit, wouldn't it? True, but if the railroad construction takes a long route, it shall traverse Indian lands, inevitably causing confrontations and bringing death and suffering to many people. I'm talking hundreds or even thousands of victims. I require your help to avert this. Well, let's not waste time. Um, then let's hurry. What do you need from me right now? I appreciate your business, Cinch. Right now, I need you to deliver a cargo to Mr. Quincy, who is a clerk in Boston. He will help us with a license we need to travel the Boston-New York line. In exchange, I promise to help him with the shipping. As for the Portland Boston's license, I've already taken care of it. All right. Uh, when I get to Boston, where do I find Mr. Quincy? Curiously enough, you can find city officials, city hall officials in the city hall if you happen to visit during working hours. Am I to correct to assume that I have to transport the cargo using the Rattler train standing at the station? Yes, you are correct. It may not be the most powerful locomotive in the world, but I trust it will serve long enough. I've also managed to procure a small cargo carriage for this enterprise. You mean my father ran an enormous railroad enterprise? Why are there difficulties with carriages and engines? Should we not have access to more powerful and robust locomotives? <laughs> Upon your father's death, his former associates conspired to secure their grip on his stock. I had no choice but to freeze his assets to buy us enough time to settle these legal matters so we could confront this band of traitors. We'll have to get content with what we have. Alright, that's fine. Okay, so here's here's me, Walter Reed. I'm a crew member. Here's my train. Uh, here's, I guess, the cargo, cotton. That, that's in my little cargo thing. Um, here's some information about us down here. How much horsepower our train has, speed. Here's some information about myself. I've got a Portland Boston Railroad license. I've got a knife and a Smith & Wesson. Interesting. Just got all my little skills here. That's cool. Um, left click to open the map. Left click what? This? Okay. Um, left click to unlock this railroad. Okay, you need a license to use this railroad. Do you have one? I have one. Yes. Okay. So now we can go from Portland to Boston. Alright, so let's go back into Portland right quick. I just want to take a look at my train here. And we'll take a look around town. The station, you can find passengers. Okay. No passengers, that's good. Here's the city hall. Got a post office. You can get contracts for mail delivery. That's cool. Um, I think you can talk to other people like that are here and hire them to join your train. 
Um, let's look at our... Can I go to the market? I can't do anything right now except for go to Boston. Alright, well, that's fine. Let's just go on to Boston then. So, let's go down to Boston. Um, auto visit. I'm going to turn that off because I don't always think I want to visit. It's because we go to a place, you know. It's 78 miles. Travel time one day, seven hours. It'll use 0.5 or 3 uh, tons of coal. Uh, I'm going to use less coal and just extend our travel time because I don't think it matters that much. Um, as far as, it takes the same amount of time to traverse for us here on the map, whether uh, whether we actually uh, use the full amount or not. It's just more the game time, so that's, that's fine. I hope the delivery for Mr. Quincy is going well. In the meantime, I've been speaking with the clerk from the city of Portland. I have assured him that you're a person he can count on, and the city is now prepared to offer you some commercial contracts. Okay. So if we fail, it hurts our reputation. Who is Kristen? A passenger. Hello, my name is Kristen. I need to get to New York. Is your train heading there? I'm ready to pay you $50 for a ticket. Alright. No, nah, not, not right now. Maybe maybe later. Uh, let's boot shop. Here you can find some useful items. A hospital. City hall. Alright. Opening hours, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. It's currently 6.44. You can do this to speed up time to the next event. Mm, they're, they're open at 9 also. Bring Kristen Norton to New York. Okay. I can't do... I can't go to New York right now, right? Let's go ahead and speed up time to 9 a.m. to when everything opens up. Let's go to the cobbler. My boots are made of the finest buffalo skin. Okay, let's see what we got here. He does indeed have boots. <laughs> what do the boots do for you? Anything? Very old and ugly looking boots. I don't know what what they do for me. Do they do anything? Eh, we'll save our money. We'll save our money for now. Uh, how much money do I have? I have a hundred bucks right now. So, um, let's look at my assets. Uh, carriages. Got this crappy little engine. All right, got some cotton. So let's go to City Hall. Are you Mr. Quincy? My Mr. Jeremiah Black instructed me to deliver these goods for you. Okay. Unload it. My friend Jeremiah has not let me down. You don't seem around here. I haven't seen your face in the city. I'm Walter Reed. Yes, I heard about this grave occurrence. Please accept my condolences. I hope you shall be able to figure it all out. In order to help you, I can provide you with Boston's cargo contracts. They're quite lucrative. Oh, good. Uh, Mr. Black also asked me to fetch the railroad license you agreed to give us. Sure, here's a license to travel between Boston and New York. Mr. Black only has to sign it, and then you can use this specific railroad. Send him my regards, won't you? Thank you. All right, so now we've got two passengers here waiting. Um, can we go ahead and go to New York, or do I have to go... Um, I don't know. That, that's 150. Need a license... Uh, I guess I have to go get it signed first. So let's go back to Portland. Travel on back to Portland. Once we get all this kind of tutorial stuff done, we can uh, start trading in the markets and things. So that will be good. And Jeremiah, let's talk to him. Got a license for Boston and New York. Okay. We need to get there together and believe me, riding in a cargo carriage is not the way. Time to get money for a passenger carriage. Okay. There are two ways to earn money. You can accept contracts or you can buy and sell goods. Which would you like to learn more about? Uh, I think I know about all of it. Okay, so now we can go to the market, which is great. Who is Mary? Please do not stare at me like that. My fiancé is a skilled gunman. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to bother you. Let's go to the market. It's 4.24 a.m. Okay, so you can look over here and you can see the buy price and sell price. We can buy... Um, cotton for 12 uh, in Portland and sell it for 19 in Boston. What else we got here? Ooh. Oh, no, we buy it for 12 and sell it for 17. Okay. So what is here anything profitable here? Not so far, not much. Uh, tobacco is a couple bucks. Alcohol is actually not bad. Um, weapons aren't bad. Everything else is not very good at all. Okay. 
Uh, medicine is actually not bad. Um, I know that alcohol is, is prohibited in some cities. You can see that it's got a little exclamation point, but not in Boston. So we'll probably go ahead and buy some alcohol. Um, where's the alcohol at? Oh, he don't have any. He's got zero. Oh, I see. My bad. So medicine, I guess, is the best bet. Let's go ahead and drag it. Get uh, as much as that we can. We can hold five. We'll buy it for 135 okay? And, um, obtain a carriage for Jeremiah. Gotta get 400 bucks. Alright, so, let's go back into Portland right quick and see if we can get a contract. And, uh, maybe that'll help us. I'll get back to the station. There we go. Let's wait until morning. City Hall. Okay, look. Weapons to Utica. Utica or Utica? Utica. Boston. Uh, three units of fur to Boston. Do I have the space for this? I think I do. Alcohol to Boston. How long is it? Three days to get there. Okay. Let's make sure I got enough room. Uh, cargo space. No, nope. I'm full up with cargo right now. Let's go ahead and head to uh, Boston then. And we'll just travel there. I should have uh, taken the contract. It's probably more lucrative that way, but, uh, you know, I'm losing money right now. Of course I am. Why wouldn't I? Okay, let's go ahead and go in here, sell this medicine. And... Okay, we're going to sell all... Profit of 90. Wow. Okay. Well, a total profit of 225. That's not too bad. Okay, let's go back to the station, though. Let's go to the city hall. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that train whistle like button and I will continue this episode if I get 10 likes or more. See you next time.